Good day, Minecraftians. Purple Mentat here, bringing you episode 33 of my Clouds of Darkness Let's Play. Since last time, I've let this Eternalist fuel system run for a bit, and I upgraded everything to the Mark III version, and as you can see, it cannot even start to keep up. As such, we're making some alterations. For one, I have dug a hole into the top of the thing. Yes, this takes out one of the relays, but it wasn't enough to keep up anyway, and I wanted an easy way to put a hopper on top of that, without needing to go all the way down the Thomcraft path to get the trans vector interface. This is an option if you want to do a bunch of Thomcraft research, which will allow you with the trans vector binder to add six more sides to a block. However, Thomcraft research is a little bit beyond the scope of this particular Let's Play because, well, I just don't feel like doing it again this one so we're not gonna forget it we're gonna work around it and we're gonna do so using b space barrels again got a couple of b space barrels set up here that are interconnected and as you can see i tore down my gas my gas tier processing system rebuilt it with pipes because the transfer pipes are just they're working better than the tubes i like the tubes i like the concept but they are slightly buggy and they don't work out all that well all that often so it's time to use a superior option. And off of that, we're just going to stick a very simple hopper on the bottom of the crafting station set up to Essence of Gas to make gas tears, feeding into a copy of that barrel. Ooh, never mind. We will not be using a hopper. Hopper is lame for that uh, particular application because it's only pulling one of the six at a time. Instead, we'll use our standard transfer node and we're just going to toss six speed upgrades. Actually, you know what? We're going to toss a stack upgrade in there and see what happens. Here we go. So you start pulling them out and putting them in one at a time. If I put a stack upgrade in there, you start doing them six at a time, which is better. If I had instead six speed upgrades, you are again doing them. Well, no, it's not quite m managing six at a time now, is it? How about the six speed upgrades with the stack upgrade? Not really moving any faster than the stack upgrade. So yeah, the bottleneck here is the crafting station. However, I believe it'll be able to keep up once the backlog is taken care of. Now to filter everything properly, I have my trash can set up up top here with the item filter for gas soul seeds. But with the pipes and it being in the center of everything, there was no easy way to make certain that this trash can was the closest pipe. So instead I used a filter pipe. And if I haven't shown it before, the filter pipe is made very simply in a QED with four die, five transfer pipes, gets you five filter pipes. And you can, uh, hang on. That's better. Uh, you can set up one item in each of the colored outputs. So if I right click this, I can see that white is the top and this blue, purple, whatever color is linked to that side. I like this setup because I can very easily attach an inventory and see which side it goes to. However, the green yellow is still very, very close and hard for me to tell. I don't know if there's a colorblind option or not. In any case, it's set up so that only essence of ghast will go into the crafting station and only ghast seeds, ghast soul seeds will go into the trash can. And then on top of that, because I thought that the item filter would be good enough, I have the item filter in the trash can. So. All of these guys are set up with 16 speed upgrades and a stack upgrade, and it's working. It's going to take a while before it gets through everything, but as you can see, it is doing so not too slowly. It'll work out. In any case, that barrel is hooked to both of these barrels. Huh. I wonder how easy it would be to add a storage upgrade at this point. <coughs> Pardon. So, let's take a look at the storage upgrade. I don't believe I have one available, but it's very easy to make with a cu couple of pistons and a barrel. So, I'm going to grab my barrels out of my better, uh, sorry, golden bag of storage, and we're going to look for... Oh, you know what? I've taught it the times 243 storage upgrade. Sure. We'll grab one of those, and we'll break it down into its constituent parts, which will get us rather a lot of upgrades actually and probably let, let let's teach it the threes the nines 
And yeah, that'll do. That'll do. The ones, the threes, and the nines. Now, let me see if I can very easily add this storage upgrade. Uh, the resonance prevents you from doing that. Okay, I thought that might be the case. You need to upgrade your barrels before you can apply the B space upgrade. It has to be the last upgrade you apply because you can't apply upgrades to all of them at the same time. Now, we're just going to grab one of these using our diamond dolly and stick it. Huh, you know what? I might be sad about this be hopper being the uh, solution, but we'll find out. Because it'll do, you know, a gas tier a tick or so. And if I maneuver just right, I can see the energy condenser. I mean, it's popping in there and speeding things up considerably. <clears throat> we'll have to see if that is enough extra speed. The producer is certainly outspeeding the consumption at the moment. And then over here, I'm going to scoop up this antimatter relay because it's honestly not really doing anything. It's just going to go into storage for now. And we are instead going to put another hopper on top of that energy condenser. Actually behind it. It'll look better from behind. Like that. And stick this on top of here. So that I am still slowly supplying grass tears to my condensing of nether stars. Awesome. And I believe if I really need to... Um... Yeah, no, that's not really an option. I can still just see past this guy if I position myself exactly right to get into the energy condenser and input a bunch of nether stars to speed this process back up. There we go. Hmm, you know what? You could do with a stack upgrade too, couldn't you? Uh, I'm afraid if I give it a stack upgrade then it won't only have a turnless fuel. So, if I'm going to do that, then I better grab a filter. And apply that filter to the transfer node. Should really teach my system how to... Well, my uh, transmutation table. How to make filters. That would be for the best. View. Use with you. Scroll back. There you go. Shift click. Shift click. We all remember how this stuff works, right? And then I need to get one of those eternalist fuels. If you apply a filter to a transfer node, it will only grab the items in that filter. Now, I should be able to add the stack upgrade to the filter, I mean to the transfer node. And it will move stacks of eternalist fuel, and even if other things end up in there, they won't get moved. It will never grab the gas tiers, for example. Not even accidentally. Excellent. So now we are ahead of the fuel needs again. Let's see how long that lasts. And if we need to upgrade the gas tier delivery system from the better barrel to the condenser. If we do, we can certainly do that. It won't be too much trouble. We might need to upgrade it just to keep up, but it seems to be using faster than it's producing now. So I might actually need to go through and upgrade the farms with the plant growth accelerators. Lots of potential options. We will definitely handle those. By the way, you may have noticed while I was just sleeping that it shows that I popped in and out of creative up there. That was me testing something. Trying something out over here. Didn't feel like restarting the world into the test world. So I flew over here, built a thing real quick to test something out, and then smashed it all and tossed all of the items into the void. Because restarting the pack... Well, changing dimensions, which includes saving and reloading, is causing a lag on this pack. Therefore, I'm doing my best not to need to restart the thing a hundred times per episode, which means frequently I end up testing things off camera. Usually I try to do a pretty good job of making sure that that doesn't show up so that I don't get the inevitable comments complaining about, hey, you were in creative mode, why did you cheat in? But since it did show up there, I am now explaining. Nothing was cheated in. Well, I mean, things were cheated in, but nothing permanent was cheated in. How about that? 
Not like I have anything I would need to cheat in anyway. I have so many resources and the ability to create effectively infinite anything from my transmutation table and the vast collection of nether stars I have. Now, I definitely thought about building the nether star generator, which a single one of the nether star generators, pretty cheap to build actually, will produce 40,000 redstone flux per tick and burn for about two and a half million redstone flux in total over a relatively short period of time, but long enough. However, the issue with that is I don't actually have a real way to mass produce nether stars short of using EMC. And as I said, that I'm not going to be using items that I cannot mass produce in some other way. Well, except for the Eternalist fuel, which is pretty much designed for you to mass produce from EMC. So I have no qualms about that. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much stuck with uh, the nether stars that we have and not really being able to get more. All right, this currently has 22, 23 Eternalist fuel blocks in it. When we come back, we'll be able to check on that. For now, let's go visit our quarry, which is waiting for us in Atum. See how that's doing. I need it not to be night because there ended on a barrel. Uh, oh wait, no, I have one more elixir of infravision. I'll have to make some of these the next uh, between cuts. All right, so as you can see, we've actually exceeded the storage capacity of one of the coal or barrels. Wow. Uh, going back to survival of the fittest, was it? No. Hang on. Oh, yep, that's right. Challenges of the beings? No. Yes. Challenges of the beings. Allowed. Egypt awaits. That's the one. Here we go. Um. Hang on. Oh, I still need to go and kill a bunch of stone soldiers. Uh, not looking forward to that. I'll do it off screen. Gold, iron, diamond, redstone, coal. Okay. Gold, redstone. You know what? I'm just going to grab a stack of each of these. Diamond. Iron. Coal. Excellent. So that is everything except the Lipus. And despite the re extreme speed of the Ender Quarry when it's powered, and the sheer amount of territory that I have covered so far, in fact I'm starting to run out of territory on this go-through, I have not found a single piece of Lipus yet. As such, I'm going to cheat it in. I'm going to use that one bit of lapis that I found. And I'm going to use my EMC system. My project, or my uh, alchemist table. Tablet? Transmutation tablet. Words. Words are hard. Uh, where did you go? You're in the overflow chest. Overflow chest isn't even starting to fill up enough for me to care about yet. We're going to take this back here. We're going to teach the system how to make it. And we're going to grab a stack. And I didn't like doing that, but this is apparently a very well-known bug on the forum, and I don't really have many other options, short of just mining vast stretches of land and taking forever at it and hoping. Alright, how are you doing? 18. It is not keeping up. That, that is a problem. And in fact, this uh, isn't even keeping up with producing the gas tiers. All right, well, let's see if maybe I've got enough stored up over here. Maybe I don't have it uh, dumping into this one for right now until I can upgrade things a bit. 34, 64, eh, still going down. 34 times 64 is about where we're at and what I'm looking at. Ah... <sighs> All of this trouble just to use this Eternalist fuel, I should just... I, I, I could build a very extensive energy collector flower array, but it's it's a pain and I don't want to do it, and it uses a lot of red matter. And I don't have a lot of red matter. Not yet, anyway. So I'm going to try to keep fiddling with it until I can find a way to make these gas tiers do it. And I really do think that adding the plant growth... Uh, what are they called? The plant growth accelerator towers to these farms will do that. I could also start using the excess lapis essence that I'm producing, which is extensive, 
and maybe the shiny essence, the platinum essence that I'm producing. Actually, no, platinum does not have a EMC value. In fact, if I look at the essence of platinum, it can ever keep up. Darn it. Platinum. The essence of platinum creates the shiny and get no EMC value. That's a shame. All right, let's complete that quest. Five very lucky blocks and an epic reward bag, which contains the Emperor's Chalice, an infinite water bucket. Unless you drink from it, trades life for hunger. That's kind of nice. Uh, Emperor's Chalice is a fun reliquary item that is good to have on hand because it means I always have water. Oh, you don't belong there. You belong in the golden bag of holding. There you go. That's where you live. Now, this Lapis Ore, not much I can do with it. Easiest thing to do. Uh, actually, I can't even smelt it. That's a shame. I mean, I can't pulverize it. Can I use my diamond hammer with fortune on it? Signs point to no. All right. Well, I am far too lazy to worry about getting the maximum amount of lapis out of that that I possibly can because that would mean creating a fortune pickaxe which I don't have easy access to at the moment, short of actually making another pickaxe. So we're just going to do this the easy way. Bump, 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 bump. And I made mine. So much experience. So many stacks of lapis. Yay. And it's all gone now. So we're the lucky blocks. And the blocks of electrum are going to get broken down into ingots and they're going to go away too. Fantastic. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit of a frog in my throat today, and I don't know quite why. I, I guess I could probably blame Pax. All right, I need to make 64 crystal glass. This is for the diamond glass. Normal sand can create glass, right? Maybe the strange sand can create strange glass. In fact, it can. So the crystal glass is made by smelting strange sand. Well, we know we have quite a bit of strange sand saved up back in Atom. Oh, no, that's the wrong button. Back in the actual dimension at the quarry. And I apologize that you can't see a thing right now. But I grabbed a stack of strange sand and I'm going back to spawn. And as you can see, the frame rate is starting to have some chugging issues. There, we're going to let that cook up. Did I need a full stack? Yes, I need a full stack, and then I'll be able to do the next step. Diamond glass, huh? Well, let's see what the next step is. Crystal glass can be made into thin crystal glass? Huh. Maybe it only needs that one step. Now I'm not entirely certain. In any case, I'm going to let that cook. I'm going to go kill a bunch of stone soldiers. I'm going to make myself some more infravision potions, and then I'll return. See you soon. Alrighty, folks, got a little bit of stuff done off screen. I did, in fact, decide to crank up my gas tier production with a huge chain of plant growth accelerators. And now I can't use the things as fast as I'm producing them, but that's okay. I don't need to because I'm pretty happy with where things are at. I am very pleased that this guy has as much eternalist fuel as it can possibly hold. At the moment, that's because the Ender Quarry finished its production run and now that the high temperature furnace generator is not actually using enough energy to burn another piece of Eternalist fuel, it's just kind of sitting there with its 6.4 million RF stocked up, which was always part of the plan. The things will shut themselves off and only burn fuel on an as needed basis, which is awesome. Now, if you want to make best use of the gassed tiers, you're going to want something a little bit better than that hopper there. And you know what? I'm going to put a piece of cobblestone there just to annoy the people in the audience who I know that that's going to bother. I six, I'm talking to you. All right. So if you really want to burn through the, oh, actually, hang on. I need to do this. There we go. The uh, gas tiers just as fast as you possibly can. You're not going to be able to do so with a transfer pipe or hopper alone. You could toss a stack upgrade in there, and then it'll move a stack every tick. That's certainly an option, but that's going to very rapidly flood the thing. 
Which, I mean, maybe that's the idea. Maybe you're okay with that. I'm kind of not. So I did some testing, and I figured out that the equilibrium point is at 18 speed upgrades. There we go. If I put these 18 speed upgrades in here, and I keep an eye on this, as you can see, I am neither gaining nor losing gas tiers at this point. So I'm going to let it burn through all of the gas tiers that are in there, and then I'm going to put those 18 gas tiers back, uh, those 18 speed upgrades back in, so that they can keep this thing eating gas tiers just as fast as it possibly can without building up an extra, any extra. Now, while I was away, I did manage to get the kill quests done, and I use the plural intentionally because once I killed off a bunch of the stone guards, the stone soldiers for the terracotta army, the next quest in the line was Dusty Skellies, which was just kill 10 of the Dusty Skeletons that were also wandering around. So I just took care of that, and that gets me Advanced Darkness, the next area for the next quest line. And as you can see, it opens up the ability to get to the area that I assume is going to lead us to the Deep Dark. I'm going to put the Castle of Knowledge in there. You know what? This thing is woefully... Oh yeah, it's actually called Deep Dark too. This book is woefully unable to handle the kind, uh, length of the names in these waypoints. I wonder if I change my GUI scale to auto, if it'll be able to manage. Nope, they're exactly as large. The text is just bigger. That's a shame. All right, let me fix that again. Uh, not small, not normal. I like large. A big gooey for a big guy. All right. Two epic bags, one containing an aut two autonomous activators, and the other containing 12 Ardite seeds, which practically completes my set of uh, magical crop seeds, but we'll just put those away and probably never use them for anything. Moving on, we did collect our... Oh, oh, actually we didn't collect it. We simply left it in the adjustable chest, our crystal glass. That's all set now. So with the 64 crystal glass, I can open up my quest book and go back to Egypt Awaits. And diamond glass, next step, make thin crystal glass. That's not exactly a big surprise. Odd that I get flaxseed out of it. So I'm going to need, well, I'm going to need a stack of the stuff. So there's no point in going stingy. I can just right click to grab a full stack at once and then double click to gather all of the glass back together. Now this has no EMC value. If you want to make crystal glass, you have to go to Atum and gather up sand. Get our reward. Next step, glass 2.0. You want framed glass. Okay, that's interesting. Let's look up framed glass. To make framed glass requires crystal glass and a stick. I'm going to need to get more crystal glass together. So let me get back to the desert dimension and, uh, whoops, wrong button, quarry. Bring me to my quarry. Back to the desert dimension, grab another stack of the strange sand, and head back to spawn fast as that. And while this cooks, I'll be able to set up the sticks and such in a crafting table, so that all I will need to do is apply the glass when it's done cooking. I didn't actually need an entire stack, but I grabbed it anyway. Goodbye, lucky blocks. Maybe someday I'll go through and open all of these. Probably not, not after that one video. You should be done by now. This is me. This is how I play when I am not on camera. I just kind of run around. I've got like a hundred balls in the air that I'm constantly dashing back and forth across the base to juggle. It's kind of fun, actually. I rather enjoy it. So, you can become a bunch of sticks. Fantastic. And now, oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to need a lot of sticks. I'm going to need four stacks of sticks. What am I doing? Come on, get with it. Make me sticks. Thank you. Put you there. You there. You actually, can I? I can, but it doesn't automatically fill in all of them as well as it could. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, well. And because it's never a bad thing to have your table able to know almost everything, we might as well burn the sticks and the jungle wood planks. Learn more items. Black seed 
from a doom i'm not even going to mess with if i don't have to and it does not look like i am likely to need that for anything it's just going to go in the mix i have never used it i don't know what it does i imagine it emulates the old red power flax because that would make the most sense all right one stack of framed glass and now you're going to want me to make thin framed glass aren't you yes indeed you are okay i am not the least bit surprised by this. Give me my stack of thin framed glass. You know what? It doesn't have a faithful texture, so it's automatically kind of not as great, but it doesn't exactly look bad either. You're looking for a more ornate look than just a regular pane of glass would get you. Oh, but it is as fragile as regular glass. You must use silk touch to pick it back up. That's okay. I'm not that worried about it. It's going to go away now. Thank you. Claim my reward. 16 more flax seeds. Next step, the lonely wanderer. You need me to have specifically 32 flax. Sigh. This side quest is literally completely unnecessary, and the only thing it's going to gain me is more resources. I mean, more uh, lucky blocks and more reward bags. But... This pack has some good stuff in reward bags, so let's repurpose our nether, nether wart area, which I was attempting to do again, and discovered that, yes, it, there, it will absolutely not allow me to use the better chests version of farming on nether wart, which is weird. I mean, I would expect that for, like, the flax not to work, but for it to not work on nether wart is very, very strange to me. Anyway, it's very easy to reset using Vein Miner because you can gather all of the soul sand up at the same time. And hopefully this guy will be able to plant and work with the flax seeds. And it can. No problem. Which means that this stuff should grow very, very quickly thanks to all of the lily pads of fertility that are around this area. And all I need to do is get the dirt down and wait just a little while for the flax to be ready. There you go. Hmm... I wonder if I can speed this process up with a bit of bone meal. It's not like I'm don't it's not like I have a lack of that. Indeed I can. Let's see if you can harvest this. Because that was the problem with the nether rack, is it couldn't be harvested. And it does not appear to be harvesting. Hmm. Alright, so you'll it'll happily plant just about anything plantable, but it can't detect and harvest things that aren't very specific. Oddly specific. Anyway, that's 24. And then a little bit more bone meal. Uh, that's 5. I'm going to need more bones. No problem. Lots of goodies over here. Next time, we are definitely going to be heading into the deep dark and getting started on those quests. Right now, I just want to finish out these quests here for the desert area. There we are. That gets me 33 flax. That'll be more than enough. And you know what? We're just going to eat up all this bone meal into experience because it's just easier than trying to deal with any other thing, any other option. I could put it back into my system, but it works best in bone form. All right. Uh, crafting task. You want linen. Okay. Let's see how I can make some linen. Uh, three flax makes one linen. It wants... Did it want 24 li linen? It tells me to make 32 flax, which is only enough to produce 11 linen. Yeah, this, uh, this quest book maybe has a few writing issues. Anyway, moving on. Let me get the rest of the flax that I need to make this work. Back soon, folks. Thankfully, that did not take too long. A little bit overkill. We have 23 more flax, bringing our total to 34 and completing that step. Next step along the way is, of course, create the wanderer items. Because why not? Uh, and they're going to be made just like any other armor, I imagine. That is absolutely correct. So we're going to paint this in here the way we would any armor, being able to very quickly make the chest, helmet, and boots, and then craft the pants separately. Okay, is that enough for you? Are you satisfied now? You are. Two very lucky blocks and another greater reward bag. Eh, not the most amazing thing in the world, but that's... that's all right. Uh, go away, linen. You know what? I want an armor stand. I want to put this 
wanderer armor that it forced me to make up somewhere. I am going to grab these stone slabs and some iron. And I'm going to make some armor stands. It helps if I spell it properly. From Bibliocraft. There we go. We'll make 16 of them. Why not? And we'll go stick it over here. So this is the white knight armor, by the way. It's not as fancy looking as I hoped it would be. Um, and it's starting to look like the Wanderer stuff will also be not as fancy looking as one would hope. Yeah, that's... that's kind of lame, actually. Yeah, it's not terrible, though. Not... not terrible. Okay. That is everything. 100% in Egypt awaits. Next on the list... From Challenges of the Beings, we go to the Deep Dark. Deep Dark is a world great for mining. It simply wants me to collect a bunch of blocks of everything. Well, this is something I might be able to do without actually going there. Let's find out. Yeah, let's see if we can complete the Deep Dark without ever actually traveling to the Deep Dark. I have the ability to mass produce all of the items listed here through Magical Crops. As such, I'm simply going to use my uh, my transmutation table to generate all of the items that I need. Let's see. First step, search for block. I only have the blocks of diamond and redstone in here already. But, oh, you're a QDS task too. I have to, like, spend these. That hurts a little bit, but not an excessive amount. So... We're going to set up a little bit of a different system this time. I'm going to use a crystal chest. I don't know why I have essence seeds in there. This has become a repository of infamy, basically. It's where all of the things get put. Uh, QDS can go there. Crystal chest is going to go right there. And I'm going to use a transfer pipe. I mean, a transfer node with a single transfer pipe. Maybe, maybe there. And a stack upgrade. Oh, I already had a stack upgrade. This will submit things quickly, I hope. And we're going to make certain that we bind. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Nah, yeah. I'm not going to worry about making it more automagic than that right now. So, it gets a couple of... Oh. Hey, it helps if you install the stack upgrade. There we go. Gets a couple of stacks of blocks of redstone. I only wanted 16 diamond blocks, which is a little odd. So I guess the rest gets burnt. Uh, and then I'm going to need to make a block of lapis, block of iron, block of gold. Heck, the gold block I can probably grab right... Oh, no, that's electrum. If I have gold, I have molten gold. Awesome. That makes life a little easier. It doesn't actually, really, in any significant way, but it's more fun this way. As I use my magical Steve fists to punch nine iron ingots into a cubic meter block of iron, and then somehow do the same thing with uh, nine various bits of lapis gemstone. Because why not? Really, why not? What are the exact numbers I need on each? I need two stacks of lapis, a stack of gold, and a stack of iron. So, iron, gold, lapis. Too much. And you know what? I'm just going to burn all of the rest. Go away. You're no longer wanted here. You go away, you go away, you go away, you go away. Fantastic. That finishes up the Deep Dark. And yeah, there is no other quest for the Deep Dark. I will go and explore around there, and if I find that there's anything interesting, I will definitely record it. But for right now... We're just going to take our reward and move on to Color Me Red. After being challenged by the beings so much, why not take a break and get some colored bricks to spruce up your house? Really? You want me to make colored stone bricks in green, magenta, orange, and white. Okay. But this will get me to the end, question mark. So let's look up the colored stone brick recipe. And it really is as simple as you think. The only thing that I'm missing is the paintbrush, which is just some string and a stick. Okay. No problem. Let's see how fast we can make these. Stick, 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 stick. stick. Oh. I used all my sticks. Huh. That's kind of funny. 
could go chop down trees. Instead, we'll just grab a stack out of here. Now, I'm going to imagine that the paintbrush is a, an item with some durability to it. And it does not stack as well. So, let's find out if this is something that we're going to need to make multiples of. Uh, we'll start with bone meal, because that's the easiest. And... I'm going to need four stacks of bricks. There we go. And if I spread these evenly between the seven spaces, uh, that's actually in the end not going to work out. I'm going to need... Man, this is just an awkward setup because I need to make the stone bricks like this. Oh, no, don't do that, you... Uh, all of my hate. 36, 38, there we go. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Now, if I use said bone meal, I, I can show you what the problem is. I'm producing them seven at a time. And, in fact, that's the only way to produce them, which means I need to make one more than is called for each time. As such, we're going to make another stack of stone bricks, because I'm going to need extras as I go through this. Now to get the green, or any of the other colors, for, mat as, uh, for that matter, I can make use of my Essence of Dye. And I'll grab three stacks of that, because that's going to be more than enough to produce every single color. If you take a look at the uses of the Essence of Dye, it will show you all of the potential setups. And you can scroll through, as you can see, each of the 16 colors can be made three at a time, making use of some configuration of Essence of Dye or another. Um, and I am not going to need more than 12 of each color. In fact, 12 of each color is overkill. It leaves me with extra. That's okay. Any extras of anything that I'm getting out of this, I am going to toss into the table to get that EMC going and to make sure that I can easily get any colors that I want in the future. Sure. Hey, you know what helps? Select task. Bind it to the block. Whoops. That's okay. Twelve more of you. Uh, I bet up and down. You know what? I don't remember the colors I need. Magenta, white, orange, and green. So, let's see what the other options are here. Green is easy. Cyan, purple, light gray, gray... Lime, pink, light blue, yellow, orange, and magenta. Okay. Orange. And magenta? Nope. Magenta. There we go. Here's our magenta stones. Here's our orange stones. Oops. Overkill. That's okay. Here's our green stones again. Ooh, can I use... The extra? No. Lame. That's okay. One of these days, this game will stop being lame to me, but th that day is not today. It is dark tonight. Man. Stop that. <laughs> and you get to see on screen just how much thrilling fun the end of this quest line is. Do... Bump. And then I just need the white. And I don't believe there's a way to turn the dye into bone meal because they didn't want you to be able to do that, you know? They want you to spend, uh... Oh, make sure that I'm actually on the right quest now. I am. Good. All of the colored stone bricks can go into the reactor. I, I don't care that I don't need all of them. You're all going away. More bone meal. And more bone meal. Um, you know what? I'm not going to spend all of it. That would be silly. But, actually, yes, we, we will. We'll, we'll spend it all, we'll get rid of all of the extra stone bricks that we have, and my life will be made easier that way. Fantastic. Collect our reward. Once again, the lucky block goes into the bag. That was just a troll block, anyway. And we have... 
four greater bags, an epic bag, and one good bag, which we will commence opening. Good bag contains five fancy lamps. Greater bags contain a lamp of paranoia. That's kind of neat. Places torch in unlit areas automatically. It is very good for exploring. You can turn it on by holding shift and right clicking and thereby turn it off the same way, which is kind of nice. And I'm probably going to hang on to that and use it. Uh, we have the Selve Amulet, Smites the Undead. I imagine that the Selve Crystal is normally used to make you. Unfortunately, I can't be certain. Uh, I might grab that and check it out. Let's see. Can uh, Cassandra's Lost Bracelet, Protection from Wither. Hmm. See, that might be worth using. Unfortunately, I think I have to have it equipped in the Wildecraft interface to make use of it. But, yeah, I think that I'll stick with the Witherless Rose then. That's a shame. Uh, 16 troll blocks and a regen portion that lasts five minutes. Not bad. Not, not bad haul. Nothing I'm going to use, though. I will hang on to the Selv Amulet just to see what it does next time I want to kill a zombie. Okay, so that's going to be us done for today. Tomorrow, we're going to be going to, not the Fortress of Hell, the end, question mark. And I, between episodes, I will check out Advanced Darkness and see what the area leading into the Deep Dark is. Kind of odd that this late in the game, they have a quest that's basically go do a bunch of mining, especially considering they asked you to gather enough ore in a tomb that you would easily handily be able to finish that quest i mean a full stack of redstone ore if treated properly should easily get you two stacks of blocks of redstone maybe maybe not you might, you might be a little short but still they you were forced in another quest to find redstone seeds before then and as uh lapis lazuli seeds are uh, lazuli seeds are also pretty easy to make so yeah i guess just don't understand the design philosophy there. However, I'm still having fun with the pack. And it looks like, as we have completed... Oh. Next quest is Ender Lily Seed. You want 98 Ender Lily Seeds. Wow. Okay, then. Um. Yeah, that's, that, that is really something. So, the next quest is 98 Ender Lily Seeds, and that's going to be what unlocks Journey to the End, from the looks of it. Uh, so... I know, I didn't I have a bunch of Ender Lily Seeds? Oh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we'll finish that up next time. I I'm glad that I was well prepared for this. I did not even intend to accidentally solve that problem, but it's amazing that I did. All right, folks, thank you very much for joining me. If you've liked this episode, uh, and please forgive all of the crafting of the stone at the end there. I thought it would go faster. Uh, please leave a thumbs up and tell me what you liked about it. If you did not like this episode, except for the crafting of all that stone, please leave a thumbs down and tell me what I can do better. And I'll see you next time.